Willkommen alle zusammen. Vikings Valhalla Season 2 trailer uh, just released and the new season is set to premiere in Netflix in just a couple weeks. Completely honest, I don't know why they even still keep making these things. I mean, the, the series, uh, the first series of Vikings with, you know, Jagnard and Björn and Evide, all those were great and fantastic. It started to get a little bit bad in the last couple uh, seasons, but the series as a whole uh, was amazing. I did watch a couple episodes of the last Vikings uh, Valhalla season that premiered last year uh, with an all new cast and storyline and it's, it's not as bad as I expected but I'm wondering just how they are making money on this because no one's watching it like the old uh, original uh, Viking series. Uh, I mean, just look at the comments in all of these trailers and and uh, posts about uh, Vikings Valhalla. They are absolutely getting roasted and all the online groups and everyone I know, just nobody's watching it and have nothing but bad things to say. I don't think it was that bad from the episodes that I saw. I mean, yeah, the series was uh, great um, for four or five of the first seasons when the Young Knight was on it and, and that's actually when they hit their peak statistically with the views too um, that, that we can see that are available online at least but since then it, it's been on the decline since the Young Knight died but regardless somehow some way they are increasing their budget and doing amazing things and amazing production epic battles editing effects film locations from all over the place i mean look at all this and on top of that it's being marketed everywhere on tv on the internet and even sports events you see the vikings commercials so the budget has just gotten exponentially bigger for the vikings valhalla series um even though they're getting way less views and way worse ratings than the original seasons uh, it almost makes me think that maybe the TV and film companies funding these things are not actually trying to profit from the show. They are trying to make up lies about Viking society like is being done everywhere else because they want the modern world to kind of spiral down this path of self-destruction like we've been doing. Like, oh look, Netflix says Vikings used to act like this. That means we should too. <laughs> when in reality, the opposite is true. If we actually read the original sources and if they ever made some accurate TV shows or movies and if people actually became proud of their real history the way it actually was, you know, the society and wisdom of our ancestors would provide answers for almost all of the problems that we are facing today. So uh, that's uh, what my channel is all about here, thankfully. So we're discovering the truth and how these things can help us in life. But we need to stay up to date on some current events too. And also we want to have a little bit of fun and making fun of this. So here we go on to the trailer. So one very cool thing I saw is that bounty hunters were after uh, Harald. Uh, All of his place supplies on your head and my sister's. Uh, and also Life and Freydis. Um, so Life and Freydis, uh, they were doing their own thing in, in the real history. They were discovering the Americas, but Harald Heidrada, like in this show, he actually was put into exile um, uh, away from Norway. His brother, King Olav the Saint, who forced Christianity on the people of Norway, he was killed at the Battle of Stiklestad right in the year 1030, um, which, is, uh, which seems to be from the last episode of last season where the show is going to leave off. Um, so we're probably going to start the second season with this Battle of Stiklestad where Olav is is killed and then after this happens Harald uh, flees east um, because he was in exile from Norway when he was just a young boy by the way he was only about 15 years old and he was actually raised by a prince of Kiev um, and he spent time in Constantinople actually and he became top of the emperors uh, the eastern Roman emperor's guard there and which it looks like it's going to show in this season Constantinople I think you could be the man to help me. Also says in here um, that Life and Harald um, will have to make some money doing what they do best. <laughs> they must make money. Doing what? What's very good at? Uh, which is fighting. And Harald 
absolutely this was true he did this in real life what happened with him was when he was a young man successful in kiev he wanted to marry a princess there but he didn't have the wealth needed to marry her so what he did was he um, went down and he uh, served in the varangian guard and he became one of the top uh, of Emperor Michael the Fourth's men and one of his greatest generals fighting off the Arabs mostly in uh, Jerusalem, Bulgaria, Italy, the Middle East, all over the Mediterranean. So he gained all that wealth and, and fame there from being a great warrior. He did go back to marry the Princess of Kiev, uh, but in one source it actually says that Ulav um, made his wealth by killing the Emperor uh, Michael and uh, he stole uh, a hoard of his treasure. Um, that, but that, I don't really believe that because in other sources he was very good friends with them. Just saying that was one source. So just that is probably going to be the main plot of this next season of Vikings or maybe the next few seasons. Um, only other thing I could see in the trailer um, is that Freydis was welcomed to Jomsburg. Welcome to Jomsburg. Now, Jumsburg was the home of the Jumsvikings, um, the elite kind of mercenary force of the time. And it had warriors from Scandinavia, but also uh, lots of other places too. They were quite a, uh, a uh, multinational group of mercenaries. Um, but I, I think it's even recorded um, like they had a law there. They had some sort of rule in Jumsburg. That there were no women allowed no women allowed even to uh, live there um i can't remember that exactly but if i find the source i'll put it up on the screen um and yeah today this she was quite a badass woman actually uh she had some men killed in greenland um pretty brutally in real life and she actually was one of the few women we have records of taking up arms when she was trying to intimidate some of the skradlings so the native americans when they were kind of encroaching on her uh, farmstead when they had settled in uh, in vinland in the americas um but yeah she was never anywhere near jomsburg in uh, real life other than that, I can't uh, see much from the trailer here. The show is probably going to cover some of uh, King Knut's dealings with England. In the last season, we left off with Knut in England and his father, Svein Forkbeard, um, uh, in charge of just one little area that they had conquered in England. But in real life, uh, both Svein and Knut the Great um, became kings over all England and ruled for quite some time. So that is probably going to be in the next season too, if not the season following that. But uh, yeah, that's about all I can see from the trailer. Yeah, looking forward to it. I'll give it another go. I'll give it a try. Maybe if I have some time, I'll rewatch the first season, the episodes that I just couldn't stand to <laughs> finish. And then maybe I'll, uh, I'll get a Netflix account once again to watch this <laughs> before I delete it again. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. We see us next time.